So when showing a breakdown of a design, there's different ways you can do it. There's different ways like how, how to show that you did it. But I'm just going to do three different ways to do it through a GIF and how the layers sort of build up um, over time. So yeah, this is the project file for the lighting tutorial, my last video. So if you want to know how to do this, then go check that out. Um, so this is just as if I've just finished this and I wanted to make a GIF out of it. So when I posted, people could see how I did it sort of thing. So yeah, without wasting any time, the first thing you want to do is delete all the layers which are not visible. So like all these layers which are hidden, you might not have any, but I work really messy and I like to keep backup layers just in case anything goes wrong. Just get rid of anything that's hidden and only keep everything which is on the file itself. So now, as you can see, every layer is there. Next thing you want to do is go to window and timeline which will open up this and it should say create frame animation if it doesn't say this there it says create video timeline just go to this drop down and click create frame animation and then go ahead and click this box create frame animation to obviously create a frame animation so just a basic rundown of how this window works you have layers here which are completely different to these layers here that instead of calling these layers i'm going to call them frames because they are technically frames of the gif themselves so yeah this button here doesn't add a new layer adds a new frame and then if you make anything invisible in this frame here, it will be invisible in this frame, but still visible in this frame. So then as you play through, you can get some sort of development across the whatever it's called. Yeah, if it doesn't make sense, just follow along. And then as you do it, it will make sense. But I'm going to keep this one as a backup in case anything goes wrong. Um, so you want to make a new frame. So yeah, hide all the layers. So it's just all transparent. And then all this is, is just making a layer visible and then making a new frame, making another layer visible, making a new frame. So yeah, as you can see here now, we've done a few frames. I'll just show you what it would look like. So as you click across, you can see each layer is being added on top of each other like that, just to show a general breakdown. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep going through the whole project and I'll get to you at the end when I've added all the layers. So yeah, that's done now. Um, if I just play through from number two, I can delete this first one now because I didn't really need it. This was just a backup. But yeah, if we play through now, you can see really laggy but it does work it sort of builds up the picture another thing if you save it as a gif it won't be this slow it might not even be this slow for your photoshop but it might just be mine so these little zero second sections here are how long the delay is between each frame which basically means if you add this to one and then add this to 0 0.2 and then add this to one again it will take one second for this to go to this and then 0 0.2 seconds for this to go to this and then one second from this to go to this i usually like to keep it as zero seconds no delay uh, just so it sort of goes quicker through it and it looks more impressive But if you want it to take longer to go through it, then obviously you can change these delays down here So if you're happy with this as your gif then go ahead and skip to this time frame on the screen Which will show you how to save it as a gif But other than saving there's two different ones I'm gonna go through now Which is I'm gonna just delete all these frames and to do that I'm gonna press one frame like this hold shift press the end frame drag them all into the, de the delete icon there and it will delete more so now the next one is on the same premise as what we just did but instead of adding each layer individually just adds like multiple layers at once so first thing i'm going to add the shoe just to show you where you started off and then add a new layer and then add the lighting in the back maybe and a bit of the smoke like that and then on the next layer you can add make it darker make all the shadows maybe so keep the highlights hidden for now so there are all the shadows, make a new layer and then add all the light in. I'm going to actually do all the white light in first, make a new layer and then make all the orange light in on a separate layer. And then the last layer is for the CC, just add all the last corrections and there you go. So now instead of going through each layer individually, we've got one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. And one there now again you can change these zero seconds to a, a higher delay so it plays through slower like this instead of really quickly and there's the second type of gif just you know instead of going through every layer if you have hundreds of the layers this is probably the preferred option just to st show each step instead of each layer now the last type of gif basically just stems off this so it's going to be really quick but basically instead of going from one frame to another like that you can highlight both of them and click this icon down here which is called the tween icon and basically the only way i can remember this is the word between so obviously tween and between yeah so if you click the tween button and click this to frames to add to change it to three for example it will add three frames in between the two you selected so instead of going from this one to this one 
it will go from this one to this one to this one to this one to this one and it will just fade in between them and then obviously you can click these two here and I'm just holding control by the way so clicking that one holding control to select both of them click tween click free it will add three in between so it will go bang 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 and then between 10 and 11 tween three okay <laughs> So now instead of going from one to one to one to one, it will sort of fade in between them. So my Photoshop player is kind of buggy at the moment because there's a lot of frames and a lot of layers. So I'm just going to show you what, on the screen how it looks. But basically instead of going from one to one to one, it will fade from one and then sort of fade into the next one and then fade into the next one. So now once you have a GIF that you're happy with down on this timeline here, you want to go to file and save for web or alt shift control s is the shortcut. So control alt shift s which will bring up this window here. It will probably be a, a sort of dark gray instead of white, but mine's, you know, weird. So just want to wait for it to load. It might take a while, but it's not, you know, it's not not responding. It is responding. It's just taking ages to load. So now all the settings uh, looks a bit complicated, but the only things you want to change are colors, put it to the maximum and diver, put it to the maximum. It will make the file size quite big. So if it does make it too big for wherever you want to post it, just change these to like 128 and 80% or something. But the main thing you want to do is this percentage down here. Um, if you have a big file size, like this is 2000 by 2000, um, I'm going to change this to 50%. So it's 1000 by 1000. And the reason I do this is because it will be a really big file size if I keep it like this. So by changing it to 50 and then just clicking in one of these boxes just to sort of get it going it will change it to 1000 by 1000 and it'll make the file size like four times smaller so yeah as long as you can see what's happening in it then it doesn't really matter too much so yeah this is going to take ages to load again but it will load eventually just you know be patient with it and the last setting you want to change is this looping options down here if it's on once it will go through the gif and it will stop at the end and it won't play anymore if you click on forever it will just loop the gif over and over again forever obviously so now if you're happy with all these settings just click save and obviously save it in a folder so here it is we open it it will play normal speed uh, whereas Photoshop sort of slowed it down because it was buggy but there you go you can see it plays through all the layers and it loops over and over again now one quick thing if you wanted to keep it on the last frame for a while so just so you can see the final outcome for a bit longer instead of just looping over and over like really quick because like the last frame you can't really see how it looks at the end um just go to the photoshop file here and on this last frame change this zero seconds to for like five seconds and then obviously if you save it it will loop for all these zero seconds and then stop at this for a while just so you can see how it looks and then loop again so that's how you make a gif in photoshop um i hope this did help i hope i went through everything i'm pretty sure i did but if there's anything i missed or that you don't get because i went too quickly or whatever then feel free to hit me up on my twitter and ask me or in the comments or whatever and then i'll get back to you as soon as possible if i have forgotten anything i'll leave it in the comments but i don't think i have so yeah thanks for watching